So the Health and Human Services Department is rolling out new guidelines on high-dose opioids in Texas. Our health reporter Haley Hernandez is here with health headlines this morning. Hey, good morning, guys. So the morphine dose limitations for people enrolled in traditional Medicaid will decrease next year. The new maximum limit will be set at 90 starting on January 28th. That applies to all opioid prescriptions. But there could be exceptions for people diagnosed with cancer or receiving palliative or hospice care. Other clinical issues may also be considered. Kimber Kimberly Clark is recalling its U by Kotex sleek tampons in the U.S. and Canada. This involves the regular absorbency sleek tampons. The recall is due to reports that the product could come apart, leading to the need for medical attention in some cases. The product was distributed between October 2016 and October 23rd of this year. Tis the season for presents, mistletoe, and heart attacks. A new study conducted in Sweden finds people are more likely to have a heart attack on Christmas Eve than any other day of the year. The risk was highest among people over 75 and those who already had heart disease or diabetes. Experts say the high physical and emotional stress of the holiday is likely the culprit. The risk of a heart attack peaked at 10 p.m on Christmas Eve. Oh Go to bed gosh. at 930. Yeah, they got very specific on that one. So you really wow. want to pay attention, make sure you're not eating and drinking poorly, especially if you have one of those chronic conditions. Yikes. All right. And especially at 10 p.m. 1030 or whatever that was. Yeah, be careful. Yeah, that's, okay.